Hi, this is Norman for Guy Techie. Um, you guys have a problem with optical drives, basically DVD ROM drives, CD ROM drives, CD recorder, DVD recorder, even today's with Blu ray recorders and all that stuff. Well, notice like if you don't use it for long enough, the tray will not come out even when you hit the eject button. Uh, you can probably hear it grinding, but nothing, nothing happens. Of course, you can always use a handy tool like a paper clip that's been straightened out at the edge and then stick it in the emergency hole and then push it in to pop it out but it gets annoying after a while uh, I propose a really quick fix hopefully it will last a good while this fix comes in a form of a rubber band doesn't seem like just any rubber band will work because I've tried, you know, the little blue ones that come in the mail and you stretch it out and they just seem to break and snap off. But as you can see, this is a pretty thick one and it's actually pretty small. So where did I get this little rubber band? Well, I'll tell you. This cable right here. It came brand new, as you can see, with a monitor. And they actually had a rubber band on both ends. They had it covered uh, with styrofoam. Uh, a little bit of um, you know thin piece of styrofoam wrapped around these little these little rubber band right here and so I, I when I saw that I was like hey that, that looks like it may work with uh, with this little annoying problem I have yeah I know these things are pretty cheap but uh, you know it still feels bad to throw one out just because of that one little belt so I already removed the screws as you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. What you want to do though, you want to pop out this plate first, you know, this tray out. So if it's already off, or if you have a hard time trying to pull it apart anyways, you're going to have to use the emergency eject. As you can see, what I just did here. And then of course, there are tabs on here. And you're gonna have to basically pull out these tabs here so we got one hand on the camera and one hand on here so focus is probably not going to be the best as you can see I'm basically trying to pop this out I'm going to pause this and do all three so we may miss a little bit of details but that's okay you'll see basically it's just basically t uh, popping this tab that bottom tab and that other side tab and then just prying the whole thing apart while the tray is already extended okay so we missed a little bit of that popping action because I needed both hands but uh, there you go with the screws gone and the, and the front plate popped up you can now basically remove this whole th piece And there's the belt. You can see it right away. So you can see it's a little bit smaller than that. But if you can feel it, this is kind of rough and it's really, really dry and doesn't have any more elasticity anymore compared to the new one, which is basically just a rubber band so it's softer. And yeah, I will admit, I have a little bit of hesitance of using it in the long run, but hey, it's free, and it's cheap, and uh, who knows, you know, while it may, there may break eventually, it's better than, uh, you know, spending the money right away. Yeah, I know, but optical drives are cheap nowadays, well, like I said. Why not? And right there, we have a good fix. Alright, I just plugged it in. As you can see, uh, the new uh, <laughs> rubber band or a belt is in now. And it looks like it's the perfect size. I like this because it's because the size is pretty small. Um, it looks about the right size so the tension between 
you know, on, on the tension on that uh, rubber band isn't as high as my last attempt, which is with a regular rubber band before, and uh, which caused it to break. I had to double loop it because it was pretty big. So using a one rubber uh, one rubber band that's basically about the same size as the belt should help. And let's see. There it goes. And because the plate is in the wrong spot. There we go. Well, having a little problem because, you know, the plate isn't exactly square and flush. But uh, if I hit it, it'll come straight out. And there's, it's a lot stronger too. I would, you know, before if I get my finger caught in it, I don't feel as much tension as I do now. So that uh, that belt seemed to give uh, give the motor a little bit more leverage to pull. And that's it. You're pretty much done. If it, if your drive or it can still read discs, it should still read discs. It's oh. The only reason why we throw these things out, and usually it's because of the stupid tray not coming out, and uh, we just solved that by a cheap rubber band. Enjoy!